Hello everybody, this is Eve. I'm going to do a collective read. If you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information is found pinned down in the comment section below. Yes, you hear my babies in the background. I am a mother of five girls. I am the Black Kardashian. Call me Kris Jenner. Psych. You better call me Eve. Anyway, I'm going to do a collective read in March 28th. See what's going on in current energy with the collective, if anything has changed. I know we're going to be having a full moon in Libra, but during the daylight hours, it was actually a full moon in Aries. So I believe sometime around 6, 7 tonight, March 28, 2021, it's going to be full moon, full moon in Libra. It's a powerful moon, so y'all get y'all magical workings done. You know what I'm saying? Get what you need done. You need to clear out, do that. You need to bring in, do that. Money, love, banishing, do that. Do that now. This is a powerful, powerful moon. Okay? So everybody be mind be mindful that um like I'm saying, if you're gonna guard yourself, protect yourself, do that as well. This moon is very powerful. Okay. With that being said, let's get into these readings. This is for the collective. Yes, well, please provide messages for the collective. March 28th. To the first week of April. March 28th to the first week of April. Again, happy birthday, Fire Baby Aries. <coughs> Happy birthday, fire baby Aries. How y'all doing, my Aries men and women out there? You beautiful creatures. You know? All these readers be like, I'm an Aries. I'm this, I'm that. If you're your sun sign, stay that. Or if you're your moon sign, stay that. Because those are the most dominant placements. Mars, Mercury, Venus, North, South Node. They are not dominant placements. They are just placements in your chart. I find myself sometimes acting more like my moon sign than my sun. And then on certain days, it'll switch up where I'm my sun sign and less of my moon. So, but other readers be trying to throw people off. Like, no one wants to know your sun and moon placements. If you don't want nobody to know, don't fucking mention it. Don't mention it. Don't mention what your sign is on here. Don't mention your fire sign, earth, air, or water. Don't say it. Just do. Just get into your reading and keep your T.I. real with your readings. Like me, I'm going to get into this reading. Find out what's going on in the collective. Asking the almighty above to help me in this reading. Find out what's going on. I'm already three minutes in. That's a good thing. Okay. That's a good, good freaking thing. Let's find out what's going on with the collective. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, my girls giggling. They stay happy. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sure. Please provide messages for the collective March 28th to the first week of April 2021. You see my hands like, what, bitch? Ooh. We got the King Cups. What's going on in the collective March 28th to the first week of April 2021? Yes, well, please provide messages for the collective. Three of Wands. Six of Cups reversed. Five of Swords reversed. King of Wands. Eight of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Mm. Yes, yeah, you'll please provide messages for the collective March 28th to the first week of April. March 28th to the first week of April. I'm telling you, they stay happy. provide messages <laughs> girls keep it down a bit mommy's working thank you I don't care I'll say it on camera I'm working 
Now, Yeshua, please provide messages for the collective March 28th to April 1st. That last card is not trying to show me. There it is. I got you. Temperance reverse. Let me look at these energies real quick. And at the bottom of the deck, partnership, two of cups. So let's see. The overall energy of this read screams to me. This deals with partnerships. Now, partnerships may not be love. It can be friendship. It could be business. But whatever that partnership is, it's the coming of it's the coming together of two individuals that are on the same page that see eye to eye, they think alike, they are in each other's energy. Okay. One has passion, one has emotions. I say this because you see this right here. Exchanging of vows, exchanging of contracts, exchanging of love, exchanging of emotions, exchanging of mental. There's an exchange here. Okay. This person wearing the yellow. You see, you see this individual wearing the yellow. Okay. It's a lot of mental energy. This one is a lot of emotional energy. Okay. And yet somehow they come together in an equally even balance. They balance out each other. Okay. I'm just taking a look at that snake wounding itself around that stick there. Like they're gonna be intertwined. Like I said, like it's an I'm here an instinctual contract, instinctual. Meaning this person knows already that this is the person they're supposed to come in contact with and touch with, be with. Like I said, it doesn't have to be love. It can be contracts like a business contract, okay, that you come in and you see someone and instinctually, it's like, I know that's that's the person I'm supposed to be working with. In love, it'll be, a, this is the person I know I'm supposed to be with. This person is all in and mental about you and you are in your emotional about this individual. There's no imbalance. It is a balance here. It's just one is more mental and one is more emotional. Okay, let's look at these cards now. So we have the King of Cups, the Three of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Five of Swords coming into play here. Okay, this tells me what I feel with this is that there's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. That wants to come back that wants to come back around from the past. Someone you didn't have good memories with, a lot of arguments, fights, conflicts, a lot of jealousy was in this connection. Now whether this now whether this connection was love, business, or family. It was a lot of arguments. Now it has, it has been laid to rest, but I still see that this individual is still in their head about past events this person is at a distance watching you still full of love and affection wanting to come forth and bring back that love and feeling is what i heard this person wants to make an a grand gesture offer of love to you okay and i see two cups here or a scepter and a cup this person is in control of their emotions they are emotionally well balanced Emotionally grounded, highly intuitive. This person, again, that goes with this bottom card. Look at this. You see these two, right? You see the yellow is the mental and the blue is the water emotional, right? So it could be an air sign, water sign, or they got air and water in the chart. And then you see his cape. Look, let me make that shit up. Oh, Yellow and then blue. You see it? This person is, is mentally well balanced. This water sign, I'm getting strong Pisces. This individual is 
emotionally well balanced okay they know what they want and they go for it they are watching at a distance okay they're looking to travel but they're waiting they are waiting they're waiting and they are watching all right they want to come back around from the past six of cups in the reverse but this is someone like i said that you have no fond memories of there was a lot of conflicts with this individual maybe they were hard-headed this person you tell them something they don't listen <laughs> but that don't make it where they're not balanced in their mental and emotional states they are completely balanced they just fucking stubborn then at the bottom of the deck we have the bottom of the deck at the second row rather we have the king of wands someone that you know is completely in control look at this control of his finances the green control of his mental and emotional control of his material wealth control of his you know what that is male phallic okay someone that likes to offer the male phallic to particular individuals okay this person wants to come back around eight of cups that person walked away in the past okay for some of y'all i'm getting um this is possible same sex because i see two male king of cups and king of wands here all right one is at a distance watching that they had a fallout and the other one wants another go around but here's the thing okay with a lot of passion that's coming back around from this water sign here there's gonna be a huge reject like, they're not taking the offer. And with the temperance here, it's going to throw them completely off balance because they want to have this relationship even though it's already over. So this person you split from, and they want to come back in the door. But again, they want a partnership. But again, this partnership is, is passe. It's over. It's completely over. It's reject. And it's going to throw them off balance. they like, what? But I thought I watched you at a distance. And I was hoping and praying and watching you. Getting ready to plan on traveling to you. I'm finally here offering my cup of love. And you said no. Yes, they said no. Because the person only sees you as wanting sex. Some of you could have been texting this individual. Or they text you. Alright? If this is same sex. If not, same goes for others. Okay? This person wants the wand. All right. Others of you, um, if this is not same sex, there, there will be a baby that come out of this. But again, this relationship is just done. It's done. It's done, son. It's done. It's only a sexual relationship that a baby came out of. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Let me see something. Give me a second. With all the emotions and all the passions that this person is holding for you and, and looking off to the distance, watching and waiting for the time to come back around from the past, their Ace of Cups reverse again with the Five of Swords. That energy is telling me that this person don't want to deal, you don't want to deal with this individual because you already know that what's going to happen. It's going to end right back up in bad blood. Okay, I hear Taylor Swift's song, Bad Blood. So now we got bad blood. I don't think we can solve them. And baby, now we got bad blood. Hey! Just listen to the lyrics of that song. I ain't got time. I ain't no damn. I am a singer, but I ain't singing for y'all mofos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you feel you successfully closed that chapter off. Some of you are with your significant other right now. And this past person, in their mind, so for some of you, in their mind, they don't care you with someone. They feel they could come back in any time they want to. I mean, this person does have an ego. They got ego issues, like Beyonce's. And I hear it, too, in my head. Such a huge ego. Got a huge ego. But I love his big ego. It's too much. Walk like this, but I can back it up. Nah, I can't back that up. 
rejection. No emotions are in that situation. This person, high name emotions, holding back their emotions, took away their emotions out the equation. God bless you. That's confirmation. My daughter just sneezed. Okay. This person is successfully happy. They closed out a chapter or you're successfully happy. You closed out this chapter with this past person because you with someone. They want to come in and have a partnership with you now. Love, career, work, or home life. Okay, even if you got a divorce and this is your ex-husband or ex-wife wanting to come back around all emotional and passionate, want to give it to you and all that stuff. They only miss this. This is why they want to come back around. Let me show you something. They only miss this. The sex. It used to really be something. <laughs> They gonna be thrown for a loop, temperance reverse. <laughs> when you say no, <laughs> when you say hell no, <laughs> I don't want you. <laughs> like wow, you know, past people always wanna come back in. Man, get your life, get your life. Like Tamar Braxton says, get your life. Like for real, past people need to stay in the past. That's why you're an ex to begin with. Go back in the, the realms of your mind as to why the relationship didn't work out. And it's going to it's gonna be on a repetitive cycle if you try to even renew something with a past person. They ain't changing. A leopard ain't changing its spots. That's why they are ex. Okay? They're not changing. Period. Any more messages for the collective? Fuck, get off this. Stop recording. Some, I don't do every day like everybody. I save my energy, honey. My gas is worth a lot to me. Your spirit is your gas. Okay? I do my retreats. I do my meditations. I enjoy myself with my kids. And a lot of other stuff. And other businesses that I got to be on. You know what I'm saying? Catch me on the gram. Okay? Catch me on Instagram. But it ain't under Lady Eve Elements. Look for me on the Gossip Lashes 1. That's my bit, my other business. Y'all want something to buy. You want to buy some eyelashes, some real mink, cruelty-free 3D minks. Hit me up on, on um, the gram. Gossip Lashes 1. Support a, support a black business. Everybody talk about supporting a black business. But do you know, I have yet to see anybody support a black business. I haven't seen nobody support me. I'm black. Okay, talking about support of black business, Black Lives Matter, bunch of bullshit. I don't see, you can say what you want, it's a bunch of bullshit. I don't see nobody support, I see a bunch of haters. Like the energy of the karmic is going around. You, you know what, though? Since the karmic Jezebel, karmic, whatever the hell you want to call yourself, Jezebel, I'm going to call you in the Israelite tradition. Because there is a passage in the Bible that can actually destroy the Jezebel. Yes, I know, honey. Yes, I know it. No, don't. Rest of y'all out there, don't try to jump on and be like, yeah, this is a passage in the Bible. I know that passage. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because I studied the Jewish religion, the Jewish culture, the ones that actually stole from the original Israelites. That's another story. Anywho, y'all say Jezebel because of that creature in the Bible. But I'm going to tell you the true name of the succubi, incubi, because it's really one demon that comes as different shapes and forms to others. If you're a female... This demon comes as a succubus, pretty as hell. It comes to you in your dreams. If you refuse it in your dreams, it will attack you and show you its true shadow form. I am one of the ones that was attacked at age 16 from the Jezahora. That is the name of the Jezebel spirit or a.k.a. Incubi, succubi. It's only one demon. If you are a woman, like I said, it comes to you as a male demon, succubi, succubus. If you are a man, a male, it comes to you. At, oh, no, sorry. Damn. Freaking kids. If you are a male, you get the succubus. If you are a female, you get the incubus. But it's really one demon because 
Archon Demons or Archon Daemon, D A E M O N, used to be archangels before they fell. And each one up there is, uh, I forgot the word, but they, they have both a penis and a vagina. They have both androgynous, I think that's the word. Androgynous. Okay, <clears throat> this one is very lustful. When you reject the Jezahora, okay, the Jezahora in your dreams will turn into something that I'm going I'm to describe it to you. I'm going to describe it to you. So be prepared. When you reject this demon, and it does not like rejection very well, okay, I am who I am, and I say who I am. When I fought this sexual interlude from this Jezahora, this incubus. He let out a shriek so loud. Oh, that's what it sounds like, okay? A, a shriek like the souls of hell, okay? Even though they say hell don't exist. Let me tell you something. The dark realm does exist. Asheroth does exist. Jezahora does exist, Okay? When you defeat this demon or try to put, reject it, it comes at you. It comes. It first sheds its human form, goes into darkness. Everything around you in your dream goes from bright to dark, pitch black. You, you will find yourself going through a gauntlet or a maze of rooms or hallways, a long corridor with like rooms on left and right side. It's like the rooms in hell. Like you got rooms in heaven. Long story short, okay. This this Jezahora, because that is the name. This Jezahora. This Jezahora <clears throat> will try to come at you. It is a shadow being. Not a shadow being, shadow being. It is one of those demons that crawl backward on the wall. I'm like, that shit that you see in the movies type shit. Trust me when I tell you, there is a passage in the Bible. We're going to talk about that later. But I do know how to destroy the Jezahora, the Jezebel, the Incubi, Succubi. They go by many names, but it's just one damn demon. Okay, you can send it right back from whence it came. With this passage in the Bible, said a certain amount of times regarding this Jezahora. So I fear no Jezebel. Trust that. I don't fear you. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Now, with that being said, let me draw one more card for the collective. Because there's a lot of bad energy out there from these Jezahoras out of jealousy. I don't give a damn about your jealousy. I'm going to tell you right now. Take that shit to the left. Okay? Because I don't have a jealous bone in my body at all. And you can always find someone jealous. They'll copy your every move. They will watch you. They'll try to steal your spiritual gifts. A lot of shit. You can stop them. There's also a way of ciphering their damn energy so they can stop doing the shit they doing. By, by Yeshua Almighty. Okay? All you gotta do is call Almighty. You can call Michael. You can call Almighty. Which one you gonna call? <laughs> now for the collective, March 28th to the first week of April. There's that King of Wands energy again. A lot of control issues going about four source. This one, this, whoever this fire sign is, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they have a mental imbalance. Be mindful if you're coming in contact with this male energy. This one only likes to have sex, 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 sex. That, that is a mental imbalance, and he also could be an uh, um, incubus in disguise. Anybody that, that has a sexual addiction... That's an incubus or succubus, depending on what form this demon decides to take on. The Jezebel is a real spirit. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This person's looking to have success coming in. All right. For some of you, there's a lot of opportunities and work and love and business. There's a lot of business success for y'all out there, for the entrepreneurs out there. All right. You looking for that promotion on the job? It's yours. You looking for a pay raise? It's yours. You looking to start your own business? The gates are open, honey. 
the gates is open and i'm talking to a leo out there as well the gates are open for you and for the leo out there be mindful of another fire sign this is for the leo women strong energy leo women be careful of a fire sign aries leo sagittarian male coming in your direction this person only wants sex very controlling manipulative but well balanced in the financial sector be mindful like i said this person has sexual addictions okay some of you gonna be rejecting that person that person's offer because you're gonna be able to read right through them you're gonna read right through this individual the energy is just gonna throw you off you're gonna use your intuition when it comes to that individual others of you you same sex i see a rejection again it's a male water sign, male fire sign trying to get together. The water sign's trying to get to the fire sign who's straight blocking his ass. Nope, I don't want your penis. <laughs> and it's throwing a male fire sign for a loop like, dang, I'm trying to have success. That's that damn story coming around again. Okay. One more card before I get out of here for the collective. Oh, he gave me three more cards. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. For some of you dealing with a Taurus, female, Empress. If you're dealing with this chick right here, she may have everything, but she ain't got you. All right. She's stuck in her head about how she can get to you. How she going to get this message to you. Knight of Swords coming in quick. She trying to tell you a message. What's this message coming from this Taurian energy? It's Taurus. What is this message? Oh my God. Look. Queen of Pentacles. She's okay. So this person, this Empress is trying to, is conflicted about giving a message to this Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person. Why? Because they don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. They want to come back around. They want another go around. So I see either two earth signs here a Taurus with a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn this is a Taurus Virgo this is a Taurus Virgo they may have fallen out of each other now this could be home work love or life they fell out with each other over someone lying and causing confusion ace of swords reverse someone lied about some money here mm. it was you Taurus you lied about some money. Now you're stuck in your damn head about how to come out of the cold with this Virgo energy person. They may not be Virgo sun, but some moon rising Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, individual. A message is coming from this Taurus. They don't want to be out in the cold. They, yeah, I know you're feeling regret because you fucking lied. Causing a lot of issues. Trying to cause, um, trying to mind fuck somebody basically lying about money some money was owed to this individual yeah you got bad memories they got bad memories with you <laughs> shit they they don't really care five of wands in the reverse they coming out of conflict they left your ass behind they may they may accept you they may not it's really up to them if they want to accept whatever the offer is you trying to present to them okay yeah you're still bringing deception and they know this they follow their intuitions they guide they know you're being deceitful and they know you're not changing they reflected upon it with that being said collective this is your reading be blessed